Hey, I'm CJ and welcome. Today we are reviewing Yoga Body's Science of Stretching, a four-week program that promises to double my flexibility in four weeks. Am I skeptical? Yes. So this program comes with page after page of positive reviews and 365 days to return the product if I don't like it. So very low risk. You get five videos with a different area of focus each day and each video is between 15 and 20 minutes. Hold up. Okay, and so as I'm editing this video, things change. So now when I go into the portal, the Yoga Body program has expanded and now there are four weeks of five different videos. So 20 videos total, plus the five videos that I follow. So for the purposes of this video, I did the original five stretches for four weeks to see if it doubled my flexibility. So let's take a look at how the last month went. Okay, so basically we're doing yin yoga. We're doing a few poses, we're holding them a really long time. I really like the guy's voice. It's very soothing, which I think is a good counterbalance because with some of these poses, you're holding them so long, naturally you kind of panic. It was challenging, but it was still manageable. <laughs> these hips are on fire. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. <laughs> The first exercise, I could only hold for 80% of the time. The last exercise, I did hold the whole time, and maybe I shouldn't have. My neighbors definitely heard a lot of like moaning this morning. My legs hurt. I'm anticipating at this point that by the weekend, I'm going to be a complete mess. I'm trying to just think to myself, like, it's probably a positive thing. You, you need to stretch out this part of your back. That's why it's so awful. Wrists, all right. Twists, okay. And ankles was just the door. Hit me in the ass on the way up. Halfway point, I've done all five videos two times. And I can't say that I really expected a lot of change inside of two weeks. And I certainly didn't see a lot of change. All right, week three, day two, hamstrings. And for the first time, I could actually get my elbows down to the floor, which previously I was not able to do. So this is good. I have renewed energy to keep going with those. The ankles exercise was significantly easier this time. The back exercise is still troubling. Overall, I'd say a lot of it felt the same as week two, perhaps just a little easier. And so starting off, I looked up what kind of tests were a good measure of flexibility. And so I ended up with some classics. And I also wrote in to the folks at Yoga Body asking what they recommended. So let's check it out. Did we become twice as flexible? For the first test, I can actually get the palm of my hand onto the ground after four weeks. So definitely some improvement there. Forgive me that I did not nail the angle on this video, but for doing splits, maybe there's a little improvement here, but it's not that easy to tell. Same thing with shoulder flexibility. I don't really see any difference here. I had really high hopes for the bridges, but no real change there. But it's all good because I saved the best for last. I don't know if you also had to do this sit and reach test for school when you were younger, but we're busting out this classic. Four weeks ago, I was able to reach about four inches past my toes. Now I can reach about double that amount. As for critiques of the original video, I found that the things that I had trouble with were actually all addressed in the videos that they just released. While I wouldn't say I became doubly flexible in every area of stretching, I really was surprised at some of my progress. So overall, I recommend this program, at least the original one, and I can only imagine that the new version of the program that just came out is even better. Let me know if you want a review on the newest version. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out. I love you, goodbye.